What's up? Welcome to Talk Chain. Matt can't make it today, so it looks like you got the first official Robcast. Let's take a look at the uh, crypto markets, and we'll take a look at some of the alt markets as well, uh, as well as go over some general crypto news and uh, see what else has been going on lately. Uh, looks like Bitcoin, $14,400, taking a little bit of a dive today, down 6%. Big winner today out of the uh, the top 10 would be Ethereum, uh, which is up almost 10%. Um, so for Bitcoin, it looked like it, it hasn't recovered. Uh, I'm sure Matt would have had some sort of uh, technical analysis chart, but uh, we're going to skip on that one today. Not... Not moving up in the direction that obviously a lot of people are hoping for it makes you wonder where all of this money is going. Do you think people are are cashing out, or is it really this shift into Ethereum, which could bring up some questions on whether or not the flippening is actually going to happen? Uh, going forward on this here, we got just red after red after red. Uh, it looks like another big winner today is Neo, and I think that. The reason for that would be the uh, the Beijing District Court dismissing the lawsuit against the Chinese exchanges, which uh, means great things for Chinese investors. Uh, obviously, they will be able to uh, take whatever risk that they want to take. Uh, and if that happens to be Bitcoin or if it happens to be any other uh, cryptocurrency, then that's going to be okay for them, just at their own risk, <laughs> just like everybody else. Uh, going forward here, we've got Icons making a little bit of a move. We got Riblox up 10%. Um, another big change that we saw today was Tron. Tron is down 11.69%, down to 13 cents. At one point, getting down below ten cents, I believe. Uh, now, just shy of below <laughs> ten cents. So, it looks like the reason for this was the fact that Tron appears to have plagiarized quite a bit of its white paper. Uh, people have taken a look at it and noticed a lot of similarities between IPFS and uh, Filecoin as well, where not small amounts are copied. It appears to be entire pages that have been taken from their white papers and put into Tron's. Now, once Justin Sun got word of this, uh, he jumped on Twitter almost immediately saying that the, essentially that it's a translation error. Uh, the Chinese version of the white paper uh, is very different and very detailed but the English translation missed uh, the references and uh, quite a bit of content. Uh, that was immediately followed up by Tron taking down the white paper, both the English and the Chinese white paper, off of their website. So it, it makes it seem a little bit more questionable. Um, obviously, they can't uh, rewrite an entire white paper in a a day or two so they obviously have some issues to to deal with uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go from there obviously some people are going to say this is just just fud on tron but i don't know it seems like a couple of questionable things have been going on with it lately uh but as the day has gone on there has been a little bit of a swing now it's back up to 13 cents down from or up from uh, 10 cents so it might be a good time to get in if you actually believe in what Justin Sun and the Tron Foundation uh, are planning on doing. Uh, moving forward here, we've got uh, ARC. ARC was making quite a bit of a move earlier today. It was up. Now it's, it is up 15% over $10 today. Uh, it looks like they're just about $15 billion shy of or sorry, 15 million shy of a billion dollar market cap. They did break that at one point earlier today and it took a little bit of a pullback. Now, what a little bit of the hype is on ARC was the fact that they released their, uh, their wallets for both the Google Play Store and the App Store, uh, which I do know that they had previously 
released that, but it turned out that they weren't necessarily the most user friendly. So these ones are apparently much more smooth and uh, the response overall has been extremely positive and that's kind of resulted in the, the bump lately. Now, I don't necessarily hold any ARC, so, and I wasn't really sure what it was, um, obviously, except for uh, hearing the name from time to time. So I thought I'd take a little bit of a look into more of what ARC is. Um, now, what ARC is, is essentially it's a platform, just like Ethereum. Uh, they're trying to be Ethereum, but a better version of that. They would like to have um, other blockchains and cryptos be built upon their system uh, and allow for uh, an extreme communication between, the, between all of the different blockchains that are on there. Now, each of these blockchains will be sandboxed in essentially their own world. So uh, it will be kept away from their, their main network. Uh, as to not allow for any sort of clogging like you saw with Ethereum and CryptoKitties. Uh, so it will kind of keep everything uh, free and separate, but also they have this smart bridging technology that they're trying to implement, which will allow everything to flow very smoothly. Uh, one thing that makes them stand out a little bit more than uh, a number of other um, platform-based coins is they're really emphasizing this um, point and click technology. So they're essentially trying to make this as easy as possible for somebody to set up a, a blockchain and uh, come up with a, an easy platform that can be adaptable and scalable uh, and that will succeed in the ARC network. Now, I think that it definitely helps them. And what we can do is, in layman's terms, uh, if you imagine ARC like the internet, um, the ARC uh, VM, uh, which is the ARC virtual machine, as uh, an individual website, and that's where the sandbox, uh, the sandbox blockchain comes in, uh, and then the point-and-click technology as um, kind of similar to WordPress, where things can be customized on their individual blockchain and the ARC network will kind of give you access to different options to make your blockchain however you would like it to be. So I think it's really an interesting, an interesting idea uh, if, the, if they find one or two um, big adapters who can build upon the ARC network and the uh, ARC virtual machine uh, that actually becomes uh, pretty successful and it'd be interesting to see how that will affect the the value of the art coin um, we know that crypto kitties kind of uh, took off for quite a bit there and it sent uh, ethereum flying but it also clogged their network thankfully they the arc team has taken some time to look into that and it looks like it's not going to be too big of an issue for them based on their separate blockchains so that's just kind of a little bit of an overview of ARC. And I know that after doing some research, it's made me a little bit more interested. And I'm definitely going to consider putting uh, a little bit of my, uh, my side crypto money uh, into ARC in the near future. Uh, other than that, it doesn't look like too much has been going on in the crypto world. Uh, so what do you think? Do you think that uh, Bitcoin's on the upswing? I know... Matt's predictions on the daily seem to be that it's going to moon any time now, right to all-time highs of $25,000, $30,000. Uh, or do you think it's about to stay stagnant? And do you think the altcoins are about to uh, rise and kind of eat at the Bitcoin dominance? Um, alternatively, do you think the Ethereum flipping will happen? And will that take Bitcoin out of its number one spot? Ethereum is now worth over half as much as Bitcoin, which is uh, impressive to say the least. So that's about it for today. Uh, have a good day and uh, take care.